So, you're hot to install that new iOS 16 public beta, but stop, pump the brakes. What you need to do first is make sure you back up your iPhone, whether that be via iCloud or hook it up to your computer and back it up via iTunes, back your iPhone up, and then, and only then, should you go ahead and install the public beta. Now, with that out the way, let's go to work. All right, so on the iPhone that you want to install the beta on, go out to Safari, and then what you want to do is type in beta.apple.com. Of course, me and Kubrick, I've already tried to do it before, but we're going to go to beta.apple.com. Once you get there, you want to scroll down until where it says get started. And then you're going to hit that. And then they'll sign you in with your Apple ID. Do all that good stuff. Once you get signed in with your Apple ID, you want to scroll down to where it says enroll your iOS device. So we're going to do that. And then once you get to this page, you're going to keep the scroll going until you get to download profile or where it says install profile. You're going to click the download profile button. Once you do that, you're going to hit allow. So we're going to allow the profile to be installed. Once that profile is downloaded, you want to head out to the settings app. And then at this point, you want to go to the main part of it. At the top is the profile downloaded. You want to go there and then you want to hit install the profile. I'm not going to do it on the phone, but once you install the profile, you'll probably have to do a reboot. After your iPhone reboot, you want to go back to settings and then general and then software update. And then your phone should be ready to update the iOS 16 public beta. If you want to know how to change the battery on your AirTag, boom, check out that video and come back for more.